the growing developer. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, The Growing Developer. In this video, in this part, we will learn about state management using GetX and OBX. What are they? What is the difference between them? How and when to use? We already saw how we can use the get builder to actually count the value, increase it, and access it from anywhere. Now we'll see what is the difference between get builder and GetX and OBX. First of all, how to actually use the GetX and OBX? And let's see. Okay. So if I go to my getx and obx page, I have this, this is value one, this is value two. Right now I don't have any values for, so for that, what I want to do is, I will simply create a new package, name it as models. Okay, so I'll do it in two ways. First, I'll create a model, right? So I'll create a new dart file. I'll say value model, okay, for the sake of simplicity. And it should be like class value model that says something like that and inside that I will have two string properties known as value one equals to uh, this is value one right so string value 2 should be this is value 2 simple well, that's it I, I just simply have a class with two variables as value 1 and value 2 that's it now I should make a controller and name it as value controller so again a dot file a value controller now this controller should be Extending the getx controller if you want to know about getx controller watch my uh, previous video So it should be like class value controller Should extend uh, getx controller Controller right and now in here I should have something like a uh, A value model value model equals to value model that is one way to actually create a model I have created an instance of this now to make it observable I have to just write dot OBS that's it now I have created this I have made it as a so I just change the type to final that's a simple so what I've done here is that I have created a complete value model and observable that is if there are any changes in this value model I should update the UI accordingly right now next thing I should have something like update the values simple now I've just I just have the method which will say that update the values right simple nothing else so string value one string new value two I should name it as new value one okay. now after this I have to update this value model so what I can do I'll write value model dot update right now what is this now this is my model and I can simply write value dot let's see value one should be equal to a uh, new value one simple now other thing should be value dot uh, value two should be equal to new value two simple as that to make it more uh, understandable to you I can write the model and model in here as well model so that you are not confused the value names actually so update the values this is a, a method that I've created that whenever this update the value method is called I should update my model so the model name dot update now this update method will get the model and then whatever you want you can call all the required things right so now this will update the values inside my model now it is reactive I don't want to make a an object again and again and then update it let's see how to use it 
Okay, so now let's try to fetch the values using getx and obx. So what we'll do is, uh, after this, I should have something like getx. Inside this getx, getx will take up, let me just give it the types as value controller. Value controller, simple. Now in, in it, I should initialize my value controller. So if you are still like finding the way how, how it is working, what is in it and what is these types, you can watch my previous video. And just for the simplicity, I'll just explain it again. I'll give you an overview. Uh, this getx will be like a building based on the value controller and initializing it. I'm initializing a value controller. It has to be initialized at least once in the complete lifetime. And then for the builder, I will just return a text from here, right? So I'll just copy this text from here. I'll just rather cut it. Cut it from here and paste it. Simple. Okay. So this is the value. After this, I have to write the return statement. Yes. So what I will do is, which is brackets, and inside that I'll write dot value model. This is my model that I actually have dot value because uh, inside my value controller you can see that my value model is of type uh, reactive it is an rx value so I have to fetch the values of it using the dot value so it's a very important uh, point to be noted okay then after that I just need to write uh, value one simple let's save this so you can see that this is the value one I got the value from here now I'll find uh, I'll fetch the second value using my obx. So you have seen what is getx, how we can use the getx. Now let's see what we can do with obx. So obx, you will just wrap it. It is an uh, void uh, method. So in here I will just return this. Simple. Cut it and return it from here. Right. So this is the value two, and in here I can how to get the value two actually. So you can see that getx, I have already have the value controller initialized. So I can simply write it get dot find. Then inside that I should give the types. It should be value controller dot value model dot value and then dot value two. Simple. Let's save this. So I got the value two and I got the value one as well. So I got both the values. So what is the difference between getx and obx and what is a, like a get builder? Get builder is doing the same thing. It is actually very much similar to getx. So the difference between both of these are that, let me just show you this uh, page. So where is it? Mm, get builder. So this get builder is basically working on the count controller and if I show you the count controller I'm actually calling the update method. So get builder updates a value whenever this update method is called one thing. Now this value model this value controller is actually not working on this update method. This is actually what pretty much uh, uh, internal to this value model a reactive variable. So this will update whenever there is an update in this value model. Simple. So whenever I change this values, it should update. Now this obx and getx should update. Let's see. So on this change the values. Uh, let's see where is it. This is the get builder getx obx page. So on press of it, what I will do. Now let's update the values inside this value controller. So I already have the method which is update the method. So update the values actually so I'll call this update the values method it will automatically update the values in my model as well so in here I should first find it so get dot find in here I will write value controller dot I should have something like update the values so for the new value one it should be like the growing developer say and for the second value it should be like learn and grow together simple right so let's save this and if i press on change the values you can see that the values are actually changed 
right i did not uh, require to call this update method it automatically changed so the main difference between this getx and obx getx and obx will work on any kind of uh, changes in the value if there are any kind of changes it will rebuild whereas get builder will only rebuild if and only if you have called the update method makes sense right so that's all till now actually i i only have the plan for four videos i will now bring all the other stuffs as well very soon and will work on the real world application so that's all thank you so much for watching this video hope you like this video uh, please hit the subscribe button hit the like button if you enjoy this and keep supporting mm, thank you so much for watching this goodbye have a